today I'm going to show you how to do crochet so here is my crochet hook it's a size 2.25 millimeters in the regular yarn you're gonna put your yarn over the index finger with a short end towards you and here you only need very short end you don't need that much uh, you're going to hold the hook in your right hand, two fingers. There is a dent in the hook, so you're going to grab it with two fingers. And the first stitch we're going to make by hand, very similar to how we made the first stitch for to start the two needles knitting. So now this is my first stitch. I did it manually. Next step, I'm going to put the hook in my first stitch, make it a little bit tighter, try not to make anything too tight. So right now my thumb is holding the base of the stitch, holding the stitch tightly, but the stitch, the base of the stitch, but the stitch itself is fairly opened and large. I'm going to put my hook under the yarn and bring that yarn into my stitch. So as you can see, I created one chain stitch so far. So we're going to first learn how to make the chain stitches. Let me show you again. Hook under the yarn, grab it with the hook, and bring through the stitch. So, so far I'm making chains, and I want you to make about 25 of those, or until you're comfortable with the chain stitches. I know the light is not the best light here. Try to have your stitches open. Undo a little bit. Undoing because my stitch was not perfect, so now I'm back to the good one. Okay, so all the same movements hook under the yarn and into the stitch, and all the while my thumb is holding the chain that I'm working on right now and the stitches remaining quite large, quite open. Try not to pull the stitches tightly. So as you can see I created a chain here and this is the base for your crochet. So try to have that done and take it to about maybe 25 stitches. This is the chain. Now next step, once you're done with that, we're going to start doing single crochet. So single crochet is the most basic crochet stitch. You're going to look at the stitches now in the beginning or rather at the end of your chain. There is the first stitch, so if you pull the yarn and the yarn is coming out of that stitch, which is this one here. This is the one you, that you're going to skip and we're going to go right into the second stitch. So now I identify the second stitch right here. So not the very first one where the yarn is moving. But the second one, I'm going to put my hook into the second stitch. I'm going to pick up the yarn, bring it through the stitch. Now I have two stitches on my hook. Again, pick up the yarn and through both stitches. Let me send a little bit more yarn. Next step, exactly the same. Into the stitch, pick up the yarn, two stitches, through both stitches. In, pick up the yarn, through both stitches. In, 